Hello, I am Madam Nick Nurdina. Now, you will learn about Building Services 1 with the topic of Refuse Disposal in Building. The learning outcomes is First, apply knowledge of water supply system, toilet and bath design, waste system to design based tasks. Second, analyze waste system in relation to architecture design and site planning. Good luck! This learning content will be discussed about refuse disposal in building. Before we continue our lesson, go to www.menti.com and use the code 480063. Please answer the questions. Okay class, now watch this video and try to understand what is refuse or solid waste. Let's start with what is solid waste. Solid waste is waste that caused by human and animal activity include anything else that is swept away from the road, market, or elsewhere, from production, consumption, and excretion. Next, we will talk about type of solid waste. First is wet waste. It is an easily degraded waste such as food waste, vegetable, fruit peels, and etc. Wet waste are typically refers to organic waste and usually generated by eating establishment and a heavy weight due to damnage. Next is dry waste. It is a highly degraded waste such as paper, glass, needle, cloth, plastic, rubber, and etc. Next, we will move to the last type of solid waste which is hazardous waste. Hazardous waste is waste that poses substantial or potential threat to public health or environment such as petrol, battery, light bulb, and paint. Hospital waste and all of KME and toxic substance. From the video, we can conclude that refuse are also known as solid waste or rubbish Trash, waste, garbage, or junk is an unwanted or useless material. Okay, class, for your information, there are five types of refuse. First, municipal solid waste. Second, construction waste. Third, medical waste. Fourth, hazardous waste. And lastly, biodegradable waste. You will understand more about the refuse type from the next page. Enjoy it!
Solid waste collection can be thought of as a change of linked stages. Begins with waste generation storage, collection, transport, transfer, and finally disposal. The chain begins with the generation of waste by individual household, institutions, and workplace. The second stage of the waste collection change begins when a householder or business employee puts their waste in a storage. For example, waste bins are placed at the site which generate sufficient waste. Okay class, continue. After on-site storage, the next step is collection. Waste collection are curricular phase of waste management. Include activities such as placing waste collection bins, collecting waste from those bins, and accumulating trash in the location where the collection vehicles are emptied. Okay class, waste transfer and transport are the activities involved in morning waste from the local waste collection locations to the regional waste disposal site in large waste transport vehicles. Depending on the collection, vehicle and the distance to the waste disposal site, the waste at this stage may be taken to a transfer station or to final disposal. Okay class, do you know that disposal is the final stage of waste management? It involves the activities aimed at the systematic disposal of waste materials in location, such as landfill or incineration. Okay class, for your information, there are four methods in refuse disposal. Safe and effective waste disposal have become a major concern for a lot of communities these days. Development in the management of waste disposal provides a wide array of safe procedures to control the damage caused in the environment. Do you know? The method of refuse disposal? Now, I will explain. First, incineration. Incineration is an incredibly efficient method of crushing waste products and turning it into pieces. Next is recycling. Recycling is an environmentally friendly method for disposing waste. is composting. Composting provides efficient at-home solution for decomposing organic waste and turning them into nutrient-rich dung. The fourth is landfill method. Landfill is a definite terminus for waste that are not able to contribute any benefits or cannot be refused. Okay class, to test your knowledge, please answer the refuse in building quizzes on my LMS CDOS. Good luck! Overall, refuse management can be defined as the generation, storage, collection, transport, transfer, and disposal of material considered waste. That's all for this topic. Thank you and see you again. Bye.